Hello everyone, welcome to Physics Minch. Today we have an interesting problem based on kinematics. So let's try and solve this problem. A horizontal wax bar B rests between a wedge and a vertical wall as shown in the figure. So there is a wedge and a vertical wall. So this is the vertical wall. Okay. And a bar is resting between it. Say this is the bar we are dealing with. Everybody. So here the wedge starts moving towards the wall with a constant acceleration of 0.5 millimeter per second square. So acceleration is 0.5 millimeter per second square that is given. The moment the wedge starts moving, a continuous supply of heat from the wall starts melting a one millimeter length of the wax bar per second. So they have already given that at t is equal to zero, the wedge starts accelerating. And the if I assume that L is the length of the wax bar, length of the wax bar, if I consider that, so this length will deplete or decrease at a rate of one millimeter per second. Okay, this is given. So if length is decreasing, right? So I'll be writing minus, minus of one millimeter per second. Okay, so this is given. Then we need to consider that the bar always remains horizontal. Which of the following conclusions can you make is the question. So first one, the bar moves, first moves downwards, then upwards it seems. Second one, the bar stops for a moment after two seconds from the beginning the modulus of displacement and the distance traveled so dear students this type of questions probably you would have solved usually we have uh, questions like velocity expression they will give as a function of time and by observing this velocity as a function of time you should be predicting at what point velocity becomes zero and if there is a possibility where velocity flips its direction like say from positive to negative then we know it is changing the direction then you might have solved these kind of problems where it momentarily stops then again it returns find the displacement distance that kind of questions so here they are not giving directly that velocity function you need to first create that function then we have to interpret all these results let's see like how it goes with respect to this problem so first let us give some names so it becomes easy for us to handle so this point and this one I'm drawing a perpendicular to this one. This is our one of the angle 90 degrees perpendicular drawn. And let me name this point also and this point. Okay. This one and this one. Just let's call it as P and Q and R and S and T just for reference. Okay. Now, as we know that the height of this particular bar. That we can refer with respect to horizontal uh, horizontal floor as y. Suppose if y is increasing, the bar is moving upwards. If y is decreasing, the bar is moving downwards. Correct? Then let me say the distance from s to t, right? That if I call it as s. So as x is increasing, we know that wedge is moving away. If x is decreasing, then wedge is moving towards that particular vertical wall where heat is applied. So obviously we know that here acceleration is towards right hand side. So x is going to decrease that we know already. Okay. Then let me name uh, this distance from P to Q as S. Okay. P to Q as S. So if, uh, if we have S to T as X, then Q to R is also X. So this is just basic uh, like observation that we are doing so that it will help us to solve the problem okay so first what and all we have now l if it is length of the bar effectively we are looking from point p to point r okay so we have s plus x let me call this as first equation so suppose if l is decreasing meaning length of the bar is reducing correct now we also have uh, the triangle uh, p and q and s in this triangle we can think of tan 
of 37 it is easy to observe here that if this is 37 degrees so we have tan 37 equals y by s so y is equal to 3 by 4 times tan 37 is 0 3 by 4 you we know this and y is equal to 3 by 4 times of s so let me take this as second equation okay now first we will write all the given data that the rate at which the length of the bar is changing or melting right that is 1 millimeter per second since it is reducing right i'll be writing minus 1 millimeter per second then the other one the rate at which the x is changing since they have said that this body is or this wedge is moving with an acceleration of half a millimeter per second squared so we can use just uh, kinematical equations for constant acceleration then we can write v is equal to u plus 80 u is 0 and uh, acceleration is half millimeter per second squared times t so this is what we have okay and since as time increases x will decrease right so we'll have minus okay then let's continue with our approach using equation one using one we can write dl by dt the rate at which length l is changing will be contribution from ds by dt plus dx by dt so we can write dl by dt as minus one and dx by dt as minus t by two plus sorry sorry so this ds by dt as it is l right then dx by dt right that is minus t by 2 so ds by dt of course would be equal to t by 2 minus 1 now using equation 2 using 2 we have uh, dy by dt equals 3 by 4 times of ds by dt so we have uh, dy by dt which is equal to 3 by 4 times of uh, t by 2 minus 1 so this is our equation 3 let's say so dear students by just looking at equation 3 we know that we got velocity as a function of time now we can interpret all this a b c d okay so let's begin our like substitution and see like how it goes so dy by dt it is equal to 3 by 4 times of t by 2 minus 1 this is the function we got okay so if t is equal to 0 meaning initially what is happening initially dy by dt is uh, t is equal to 0 it is so minus 3 by 4 millimeter per second so basically at t is equal to 0 we know that the block is moving downwards that so, so called bar is moving downwards okay then if we want to know like where it stops then we need to put dy by dt is equal to zero so this gives us like where the bar momentarily stops okay so which implies that uh, t by 2 minus 1 should be equal to zero because 3 by 4 cannot be zero so t should be equal to 2 seconds so basically at t is equal to 2 seconds bar will stop momentarily bar will stop momentarily okay then what if we work t greater than two seconds if t greater than two seconds then dy by dt is positive which implies that bar starts moving upwards so with this information we can say that our so-called first one is correct the bar first moves downwards then upwards that is correct the bar stops for a moment at after t is equal to two seconds from the beginning even that is correct now we need to check the modulus of displacement of the bar in the first four seconds as well as distance traveled by the bar in the first four seconds. So we will complete that as well. See, to comment on displacement from the velocity expression, we will first get, get displacement function. Okay. So 3 by 4 t by 2 minus 1 times of dt. As we integrate this particular function, we'll get total change in well change in position of the bar along the vertical direction it is like final height minus initial height okay or final y minus initial y that's the meaning of it so final y minus initial y equals 3 by 4 times i'm just integrating nothing much 
okay so t squared by 4 minus t from 0 to t so basically i'm integrating like this from 0 this is initial position and sometime this is final position we are integrating this okay now the final position equals initial position plus 3 by 4 times of t squared by 4 minus t right so at t is equal to 4 second let's see what will be the displacement if you substitute this value here you can get like uh, in place of t if i substitute 4 it turns out to be 4 squared by 4 it is 4 minus 4 0 so basically we have at t is equal to 4 it will come back to the original point we understood that the bar starts initially moving like this like at t is equal to 0 it starts moving downwards at t is equal to 2 seconds it stops here then they are saying that at t is equal to 4 seconds exactly the bar will come back to the same position where it was initially right then to find out the displacement so we know that displacement at 4 seconds that is definitely 0 so in our question modulus of displacement of the bar in the first 4 seconds is 1.5 millimeter that is 100% wrong this is wrong now distance traveled by the bar in the first 4 seconds that we need so here we know that if we find distance traveled in 2 seconds then we can double it so that we'll get the dis distance traveled in 4 seconds correct so what is the displacement at t is equal to 2 seconds let's say at t is equal to 2 seconds what will be the displacement so we have 3 by 4 times uh, t is equal to 2 right so it is 4 by 4 which is 1 minus 2 so basically we have minus 3 by 4 millimeter so y final minus y initial we understood that negative implies it is moving downwards it goes down by a distance of uh, 3 by 4 millimeter then again it will go upwards 3 by 4 millimeter so overall distance it will travel is 2 times of 3 by 4 millimeter so which implies that 3 by 2 millimeter so we'll check here the distance traveled by the bar in the first 4 seconds is 1.5 millimeter it seems and that is absolutely correct so i hope you understood this problem and if you have any doubts please feel free to put that in the comment section thank you